Well, today, SpaceX and the U.S. Space Force will launch a top-secret plane into space. Now, much is classified. In a groundbreaking mission, they will be deploying the mysterious X-37B space plane, taking space exploration to new heights. This awe-inspiring video captures every riveting moment as these cutting-edge technologies join forces to conquer the final frontier. Witness the precision and power of the Falcon Heavy as it propels the state-of-the-art X-37B space plane towards the infinite wonders of space. Brace yourself for an adventure that words can't do justice, this is a mission you don't want to miss. Tune in now to witness the future being built right before your eyes. Let's find out in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. Well, we're learning that we're gonna have to watch and wait to see what this weather does because it has been raining non-stop. Often this is hard to see, but eventually hoping when this rain stops, they're gonna ride the Falcon Heavy rocket. That's gonna, apparently, it's gonna take up on top of it. It's gonna take up the X-37B space plane, which has been flying top-secret missions really since 2010. But that's the one that everyone is talking about. That's the one that everyone is curious about. It is going to be unmanned, so nobody is going to be on it. And even though the Space Force has disclosed some of the previous payloads, a lot of the details regarding the plane's orbital activity, it remains classified. That's where a lot of speculation as to what these space planes are actually doing. Up in space comes into play. Space Force has repeated, though, said that it is simply testing out technologies for future spacecraft and carrying out various experiments like these here harnessing and transferring solar power energy from space back to Earth. The goal is figure out how plant seeds would fare against the high radiation in space. Okay, so meantime, the X-37B is gonna join another space shuttle that launched just last week, but that was by China's military, highlighting this ongoing space race between the US and various countries. It's not just the United States, it's operating in space. There's a whole host of other countries, including China, as I mentioned, as a competitor and an adversary. And so we have to maintain that leading edge, where we were, and I still believe strongly, that we're the best in space, but there are other competitors that are coming very close. And the recent launch of China's space plane demonstrates that they're very much focused on not only understanding for themselves what space domain awareness entails, but also how to operate and maneuver spacecraft in a variety of orbits above the Earth's. The weather is supposed to clear up by then, but again, you know, Never know with Mother Nature, we're gonna have to wait and see. This has already been rescheduled and delayed a couple of times because of technical difficulties, but also weather, as we are seeing here in Florida now. As we pry our sights away from the future to gaze upon the present, today marks another crucial event set to unfold. The long-awaited moment is finally upon us. At 8.07 p.m., the Falcon Heavy is set to launch the secret of X-37B space plane. SpaceX crews commenced the process by moving the towering 230-foot-tall Falcon Heavy to position at Path 39A at Kennedy Space Center on Wednesday morning. Notably, the commercial space giant typically conducts its Starlink missions at Launch Complex 40 located at the nearby Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. In case Thursday's launch faces any setbacks, there's a backup opportunity on Friday, albeit with a mere 5% chance of weather-related constraints, mainly associated with potential winds. The Space Force's 45th Weather Squadron, 45th Weather Squadron forecasts an 80% chance of favorable weather for Falcon Heavy's launch. However, there's a slight to moderate risk of upper-level wind shear due to an approaching weak front, with sporadic showers expected in central Florida on Thursday morning. Much of the upper-level moisture associated with the wave will move off the coast by midday, leaving only top showers along the front to the west by the launch window. Therefore, the primary launch weather concern is the cumulus cloud rule associated with any showers that may develop ahead and develop ahead and along the front, the squadron's forecast said. In the event of any delays, SpaceX has set a secondary launch window for Falcon Heavy at 8.06 p.m. on Friday. This mission holds considerable importance as it marks the seventh secret of orbital mission for the Boeing-built X-37B. And USSF-52, this mission marks the first deployment of the autonomous space plane using a Falcon Heavy rocket. Previously, the space plane was launched in May of 2020 atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. 
the classified spacecraft set a record with an impressive 908 days in orbit before its November of 2022 landing at KSC's launch and landing facility. Our national security space launches transport our most important capabilities into orbit, Brigadier General Kristen Panzenhagen, who commands Space Launch Delta 45, said of the X-37B mission in a November press release. We partner closely with our launch service providers and the entire team is focused on executing a successful mission, Panzenhagen said. The 45th Weather Squadron has an issued an extensive forecast for the Falcon 9 mission. According to the National Weather Service, there is an expectation of mostly cloudy and cool conditions Thursday night at Cape Canaveral Space Force Base, with temperatures around 52 degrees Fahrenheit and a southwest wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's hope that the weather cooperates with SpaceX this time. Surprisingly, the upcoming launch of the U.S. military's reusable X-37B spaceplane will take place aboard SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. This departure from tradition is quite unexpected, as the spaceplane's previous six missions were all launched, using either the Atlas V or Falcon 9 rockets, which have a medium lift capacity. This seventh mission will mark the first time an X-37B spaceplane embarks on its journey aboard a heavy-lift launcher. The Falcon Heavy rocket's next payload remained a mystery, until the military's recent announcement. Known as USS F-52, this secretive mission is set to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The Space Force revealed that, the 7th X-37B mission, will encompass a wide range of test and experimentation objectives. While the Pentagon aims to acknowledge the existence of the X-37B space plane, they remain tight-lipped about the specifics of its missions. The Space Force's statement on Wednesday provided little insight into the upcoming flight, maintaining an air of ambiguity. The tests will involve operating the reusable space plane in new orbital regimes, experimenting with future space domain awareness technologies, and studying the effects of radiation on materials provided by NASA. The X-37B spaceplane, shrouded in secrecy, is capable of deploying small satellites, conducting experiments, and pursuing classified objectives. Operating without astronauts, it relies on a solar array for electricity and autonomously guides itself to a runway landing, at the conclusion of each mission. The X-37B program is a joint effort, between the Space Force and the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office. Military officials have confirmed, the existence of two X-37B vehicles manufactured by Boeing, and both have completed multiple missions. The space plane is about a quarter of the size of NASA's space shuttle orbiters. It boasts a cargo bay inside the fuselage to accommodate payloads, along with a disposable service module that was utilized for the first time during the most recent X-37B mission, providing additional capacity for experiments. The compact design of the space plane allows it to snugly fit within the nose cone of a Falcon or Atlas rocket. This enables the X-37B to launch atop a conventional launch vehicle, similar to any other satellite payload. Just last year, it completed its most recent mission, marking a significant milestone as it spent nearly 30 months in orbit, the longest flight for the X-37B to date. Throughout these missions, the X-37B gracefully soared a few hundred miles above Earth, following a path that took it between approximately 55 degrees north and south latitude on each orbit. Excitingly, next month's launch will push the boundaries of the X-37B's capabilities even further. Joseph Fritchen revealed that the upcoming mission will once again feature a service module attached to the rear of the space plane. This launch aims to expand the envelope of what the X-37B can achieve. Fritchen also shared that the X-37B will conduct multiple cutting-edge experiments for the Department of the Air Force and its partners. Get ready for another remarkable chapter in the X-37B's journey. It appears that the military is planning to push the boundaries and explore new orbital territories, with the upcoming X-37B mission. This makes sense, considering the space plane will be launched atop a powerful Falcon Heavy rocket, which has a much greater lifting capacity compared to previous missions using Falcon 9 or Atlas V rockets. Interestingly, a military document from when the Air Force acquired the rocket for the USSR-52 mission, which we now know will carry the X-37B, mentioned the need for a lift capacity of approximately 14,000 pounds into a geostationary transfer orbit. 
this orbit is a highly elliptical loop around Earth, spanning about 22,000 miles from the planet's surface. T. His represents a significant departure from the military's previous, mini space shuttle missions. The deployment of the X 37B via Falcon Heavy rocket is bound to ignite further curiosity surrounding this military space plane. The U.S. military has divulged details about certain experiments conducted by the X 37B, such as testing electric thrusters and advanced thermal control technologies. However, Previous missions of the X 37B have involved the discrete and open deployment of small satellites, with the military offering only ambiguous explanations regarding the space plane's additional endeavors. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel, and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time by the way are you familiar talk talk philippines app talk talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door for more information download the talk talk app here down below